Ngiye kwa mugela which welcome you to Isizulu lessons brought to you by Bonnie Books. Should you have any questions uh, regarding this lesson that you're going to hear today, you may send your question to tutoring at bonniebooks.co.za. Um, your lesson today will be brought to you by Tisha F. It's a fun lesson. I'm saying this is a way too long with Tisha F to you. Tisha F will try to use both languages for your own benefit so that you may follow what uh, he is she's teaching you. Okay, our first topic for the day, for today, will be Amabizo still. So we are looking at Amabizo, Amabizo are your nouns. Okay, so we are going to continue looking at the different types of nouns. But what are we going to learn here? What are we going to learn? What is the Sizofunda, how to recognize your nouns. And we also look at different types and recognize those different types and see how these can be used in a sentence. Okay. Let's look at the first type of nouns that we have. We have amabizo koka. Amabizo koka. Those are your collective nouns. So Amabizo Koka are your collective now. So like if you look at this picture, we don't have one cow, but we have plenty of them. So izinkomo eziningi, we call it umhlambi. So the word umhlambi is our collective noun. And the second one is inwele ezinkulu. You can see here it's, she's got big, lovely hair. And if your hair is big, we call it isihlutu, isihlutu. And again, another collective noun that we have here, when we talk about many people, they look at them here, there's so many. So we say, abantu abaningi isikubu. So these are your collective nouns. Umhlambi, isihlutu, and isikubu. Okay, the next collect the next type of noun that we are going to see is amabizoko. Amabizoko. Amabizoko are proper nouns. I'm sure you're familiar with the proper nouns in your English. So you know what proper nouns are. So when it comes to Isizulu, we also have proper nouns. The proper nouns could be amakama abandu, people's names. Like if you say utandi. Usipo, Umike, Usara, and even your name, whatever your name is, but see this, your name must start with a vowel if it's a noun. Utandi, Usipo, and your name is your proper noun. And again, Amabizoko could be people's surnames. Izibongo, Zabandu, like Ukumalo, Usmith, Upile, Uprozeski. People's surnames are also proper nouns. And another proper noun, other proper nouns that we can get is amagama as in Dao, place names. Okay. Like Igaba, Itegu, I Paris, I France, I Sentin, I Rosebank, those are your proper nouns. And the proper nouns could be the names of mountains. Okay. Amagama as in Daba, in Mount Kilimanjaro. Igama Lindaba, in Mount Kilimanjaro. If you say in Mount Kilimanjaro, that is your proper noun. We can also have Amabizo Ko being Amagama and Infula, the names of the rivers. Like if you say Utugela, Ival River, that is a proper noun. And the next type, which I think is the last one, will be. Amabizo ngube. is a compound noun. You know what a compound noun is. It's a noun that is made up of more than one part of speech. So let's look at this noun here. Umtolambilo. Tola is to get, which is a senso, and impilo is health, which is a noun. So umtolambilo is a compound noun. Ibizo 
Mube. Ibizo. Mube. Okay. Let's look at the second example that we have here. Okay. Let's look at this word. Umfana futi. Umfana futi. So if you look at now, you can see it's Ibizo. Mube. There is umfana here and there is futi. Umfana, which is your Ibizo. Okay. Which is your noun. And futi, which is isiflanganiso. So those are your compound noun. Amabizo mubi. Now go get umse benzengi patele ona namtlanje. Okay, we're gonna look at these sentences. We're gonna go through the sentences. Yena ufuna utenga umabona gude. Where is the noun? Take out the nouns from the uh, from these sentences. Bazo kunda izinuele namtlanje. Okay. Bayatanda ukibela ikilimanjaro, Mount Kilimanjaro. Usipo ufunda e St. John's. Umfula wabu ukwele amanzi. Okay. Bayatanda ukuvagashela ukate. Itegu litle kakulu. Mina ngitanda umklambi omkulu. So take your time. Do it slowly. Take sentence by sentence. Take out the nouns that you get here. And then say what type of a noun is the one that is the noun that you are going to get okay so once you have done that you can go to the next slide get your answers compare the answers these these answers and your answers so if there is something that is not good and is not coming right make sure you go back to your slides revise your slides and then you will be okay